how can the church effectively fulfill God's end-time commission of making disciples of all nations, baptizing them, teaching them to obey everything He has commanded? The Seventh-day Adventist Church is known for its worldwide mission outreach, which is sustained by an efficient system of offerings. Regular and systematic mission offerings are like a life-giving river with tributaries flowing around the world, carrying refreshing water to mission fields locally, regionally, and internationally. Every time you equitably distribute your regular and systematic mission offerings, you add water to this river current that flows through often parched lands, bringing life and hope. You are helping the church grow locally, regionally, and in areas afar off that you may not have even heard about. You are assisting missionaries you may never meet and building schools and clinics you'll probably never visit. You are helping plant churches you may never worship in, and you are bringing life to the church's mission by introducing Jesus' love to the hearts and minds of people all around the world. But some well-intended attitudes may hinder or even stop the flow of resources destined to feed the church's mission endeavor at large. While trying to do their best for God, some people decide to give their regular offerings to specific projects they know, something special that stirs their hearts. They see the results, know those involved, sympathize with them, and are well satisfied. But they ignore that by directing their means to provide for just one or two specific projects of their preference, all the others, which are equally important before God, remain uncovered. The combined offering plan was wisely devised to avoid this inequality in the distribution of offering funds. By following its suggested guidelines, you may regularly give 50% to 60% of your offerings to your local church, which stands for local mission, 20% to 30% to the regional missionary projects of your conference, which is your regional mission, and then 20% to the world budget or to the world mission fund, which feeds our international mission. The World Mission Fund is administered by the General Conference and supports at the same time all approved missionary projects and missionaries around the world, from the smallest to the most well-known, like Hope Channel, Adventist World Radio, and ADRA, to mention a few. Suppose you live in administrative regions of the church where the combined offering plan has been adopted. In that case, your offering will be automatically distributed in this equitable way every time you give unassigned or lose offerings. Giving to all at the same time may not seem as glamorous as giving to a specific, well-advertised project or program, but by doing so, we are investing in the expansion of the missionary work in a broad spectrum and the whole world, and the church's mission will advance stronger, faster, and in a balanced way. Mission projects and missionaries dispersed worldwide are constantly coping with situations where their faith are being tested, and by supporting all of them, so is ours. We do not know where every drop of water in a river goes, but when many drops are together, we can see the results, and they are beautiful. As we return our tithe and promise, regular and systematic offerings, let our drops become tributary channels used by God to feed His worldwide mission. May we put our desires last and God first.